today you have a, a very nice view. Uh, but the session just for now for uh, uh, Prof. Altai Abusin. And um, you can have the stage. The stage is yours. <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الصلاة والسلام على أشرف المرسلين سيدنا محمد سيد الخلق أجمعين Ladies and gentlemen السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته and a very good morning or noon or very good day for you all or to you all and before I get in, indulged in the subject which I'm going to address today, I should like to thank our colleague, Dr. Alam, because he has been a very successful, sharp spearhead for us towards all kinds of good performance in the field of knowledge um, for the benefit of the Sudan in particular. We should actually say thank you, Professor, and thank you very much. The orbit of this speech is going to be about education. Education. التعليم. وما أدراك ما التعليم. In Quran, these words, أدراك وما أدراك وما يدريك. Yeah, so many people they don't understand when they get to these eyes what is after. وما يدريك وما أدراك. When the word وما أدراك, that means the question is big. The answer is unknown. The answer should, people should fight very much to get the answer for that. That's why I said, التعليم وما أدراك ما التعليم. And what do you really know about التعليم or education in Sudan? But when we say, وما يدريك, then I have got the explanation for you. And you have got the explanation. So, the beginning is وَمَا أَدْرَاكَ مَا التَّعْلِيمِ What do you really know about talim or education in Sudan? <clears throat> this brief paper will address or be vested actually in the form of three ribs of a triangle. A triangle of three ribs, which is, first of all, is going to be the assessment. And with the assessment, I will carry on with a kind of rectifying stations at the same time. The assessment and the rectifying stations when I am going on I'm telling about Italian, inshallah. On the bus that leads to ideal education, which we are actually dreaming of in the very future, in the very near future in Sudan, inshallah. The ideal education is an ideal vehicle to achieve dimensions of the nation's identity. An education which doesn't reflect the identity of the nation is a failure. If it doesn't reflect the identity, and the identity actually is the, uh, the, the, the character of the nation, that the nation will continue to be proud of all through history. This is the identity. If this identity is not known and it's blurred, the nation is going astray, unfortunately. <clears throat> uh, 
the ideal education for us and to take our role to make this ideal education works, it should be a qualified platform bearing the legitimate components. Everything that you want to make it successful, you should look into the components and try and analyze these components and add to them how to operate these components so as to have the drive forward. And these components are very important, these words. I, when I, every word I say, I mean the depth of the word. These components should be grown on the soil of the land of the nation targeted and not outside that soil. So, a good education should labor on the following. On teaching, learning, and nurturing. That means, tedris, talim, tarbiya. These are the three main pillars that should be taken together when we want a real education. If you take one, which is, I want to break good news to you, we are in Sudan on the first one. We haven't got the second, and we haven't got the third, unfortunately. What's teaching? Teaching just induction. Induction. It's to say to the students, this is habbat qamah. This is hadihi lawha, hadihi shajara. And the student will absorb this information. And at the end, the exam paper, what is this? This is a tree, a palm tree. Oh, yes, successful. Go second year, and so on and so forth, teaching. And teaching, actually, is the activity of training monkeys. You can train monkeys, and they can do a very good job. And sometimes they can even do better than you do. The monkeys, they can do the, the, the sports or whatever, and move here and there better than you do. But the problem here, bring a monkey in front of other monkeys and ask him to teach these monkeys. He cannot. That means the missing link comes over. So teaching will never take us anywhere. Comes learning. What about learning? Learning here is the step that we take on board the student with the teacher together. The teacher and the student together to take part in the lesson. And this cannot be unless we have a book for the student, which is called the student book, which is completely absent in Sudan. No student book in Sudan. Only textbook and exercise to answer. And this is the orbit of teaching, unfortunately. So are we are killing education in Sudan, unfortunately. So the student has got no role and the lesson. So the teacher will give the lesson and off he goes. Then at the end he will ask the, the questions for the teacher. So give and take. This is called learning. So as the student has got the feeling that he has got a role in actually forming this lesson. And this will make him likes the school and likes being taught. This is called the student's participation. 
The third one, when the teacher, the student, are taking together this role and they are going on the rail, then there comes what we call the education, which is nurturing, which is terbia. How terbia? Terbia means values. If you don't have values out of the education, <laughs> you are doing nothing. So values, I give, always I give like, examples for that, like if Yabunayi, if we are talking about Habbat al qabh Yes. So, values. Habbat al qamh ya bunay. Don't store habbat al qamh while your neighbor is hungry. Move it. Move it to the values. And this applies to other things. So I have to go <laughs> to behavior. All right? Then, to achieve this triangle that uh, aspects, we have to have a lovable book, indigenous curriculum, well-trained teacher. These three main things. So a lovable book, I mean a book that the student likes. And I, I remember the story, I don't have to mention it actually. <laughs> a teacher, a, a lovable and practical, a teacher in the Western Sudan opened the book and said to the students, the boy touches the lion. And they were three year olds, three year olds. None of them actually answered back. None of them said anything. Just, Boys, the boy touches the lion. One of them said, sir, this is a big lie. The boy cannot touch the lion. The boy cannot touch the lion. So this book is actually false. From the start, three year old, to be told that the boy touches the lion. That's bad. Indigenous curriculum, there's a, the, the, the people mix between curriculum and syllabus. Up to now in Sudan, I defy anybody in the government, in the education government, in the education uh, uh, department or ministry to differentiate to me between curriculum and syllabus. Al Minhaj wal Muqarrar. And this is disastrous. Disastrous. Al Minhaj is actually forming the identity of the nation. And Al Muqarrar, the syllabus, serves it. Serves it. If it doesn't serve it, it's not a good Muqarrar. I hope that I have more time to speak more on that. But this is an indigenous curriculum. And the third one, a well trained teacher. A well trained, a well -trained uh, teacher. Yes, and this teacher should be trained on two levels level of a class teacher and a subject teacher. And we don't have this in Sudan, unfortunately. It's not done actually haphazardly. It is very important to train them on that. And the umbrella of a comprehensive education and should be a healthy environment. What this healthy environment? This healthy environment in all aspects, first of all, a purposely built school, not school in a villa or something like that. Purposely built school it has got the parameters and all the things that are required for the school. Secondly, qualified attachments, and these are mainly for like the extracurricular activities, which is the main component of education, and other activities like sports, theaters. Things like CDT, CDT room, it's very important for our students. Our students, if, if the electricity goes off, nobody in the house can put it back. And it could be a fuse, nobody can do that. 
it should be taught in the elementary level for students. Uh, the, the, the age group, which is another disastrous thing, the age group. Now we have got a student of five years with a student of 15 years together in the same school. Look at that. From year one to year eight, and then three for the elementary or secondary, call it as you want to call it, and then to university. Okay, that's bad. We should have a kind of leveling like 444 or 633. That's normal. Back to that. So this is what we need to do. And a qualified, specialized, experienced, and well-versed institutions. To safeguard this kind of activity, we have got to have institutions. Institutions like uh, a text and student book production society, or like a, a group of people to, uh, to look after the, the values of these, these books and to look after them from time to time so as to, to, to guarantee, actually, the level of, of, of performance. Second, teachers' training. And that's very important, as I told you, to teach the, to, to train the teachers and to have bodies to look after this training, either by putting something like PGC, what we are having now, or TTA, TTP, which is the uh, teacher's training plan, uh, uh, plan as it's here in England. So, and, uh, and last but not the least, the library book, which is very important, which is missing now in Sudan, unfortunately. This is called the library book, which is the support of education, which is completely absent in Sudan. That's very good. To end or to close, actually, on in a hurry, and I didn't find time actually to talk uh, a lengthy talk, but the thing I want to say. Only two points, very important two points. The point number one, education, education is state business. It's not a government business. And the people there and everywhere will know that if education is a state business, that's successful. But if the government, because the government comes and goes, and it's going to be just for the what they think that is the way that they can serve themselves and not the community and the people. So, and not a government, it's not a governmental thing, built as a kind of development plan. This is one. Two, should have a high budget, if not the highest, education. A nation wants to sail safely towards prosperity and to live a good life should have a, a high budget that enables the people to be on the rail and not to be derailed by any kind of other factors. So the, the, these chapters of budget should be fed and should be looked after carefully and should be given the first priority. Chapter one, which is the personnel. Chapter two, which is the equipment with the fuel of running the education. And the third one, which is development. It's a platform that cope with new challenges. Wassalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Just a final comment. This could I say to to يعني to upload the teachers with education. ال ال يعني um نحنا we do not give enough credit لل لل education system حقا في السنان والتعليم. يعني that talk at the beginning was was very enlightening about the curriculums, about the syllabus, about teaching generally as a profession. نحنا بلد بدينا التعليم very early في the continent في Africa. We should actually be leaders 
in in education. Sadly, again, one of the things that also has suffered, يعني, في the last decades. So, thank you very much. That was a very enlightening talk. بنحلم بفضاء أوسع بنحلم بزمن أجمل بلاد ميلاد بلاد ميلاد